Hello friends, how's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. In today's video, I wanted to play with some of the things that Ensley Rain has sent me recently. Um, I've never tried this brand before. This brand is new to me. I've had my eye on them for a while, ever since they launched the Flower Moon palette earlier this year, I believe. Um, but I just haven't like bit the bullet yet. I haven't jumped on it. I actually might have been fawning over them for a lot longer even. I don't even know, who's to say? But regardless, they reached out to me recently offering to send me some things and I was so super excited. They sent me the Flower Moon palette, their new Harvest Moon that is launching today, the day that this gets uploaded. They also sent me over some singles as well that I did swatches of over on my Instagram reels. If you wanna go check that out, I'll be featuring some of those in an upcoming Get Ready With Me, probably my reading wrap up Get Ready With Me, so stay tuned for that. But today specifically, we are focusing on the Flower moon and the harvest moon. I'll be creating two looks in this video, one look with each palette, and I'm so excited. I do also intend on doing additional looks with both of these over on Instagram and YouTube shorts, so stay tuned for that. So yeah, without further ado, let's just hop in, dive into these palettes, and get into some looks. So let's chat about the flower moon first. I believe this launched back in the springtime, and it is just so stinking gorgeous. We have 21 beautiful shades, 14 really special shifty shimmers, and then seven delicious yummy mattes. I really like the formulas of these so far. Everything is very buttery and smooth and pigmented and just so, so good. I love the tones in here. We have kind of grungy garden vibes. We have dusty greens and like some purples and some pops of pink. It's a really, really cute, fun color story. And I still feel like this fits in the autumn vibes as well. Although not as much as the harvest moon, which we'll get into now. This is the harvest moon. This one's actually launching today, the day this video gets uploaded on September 29th at 9.30 a.m. PST. I'm so excited about this one. As soon as they revealed the cover art, I was like, oh, this is gonna be a good one. This is just beautiful. I love the like art on these palettes. It's just so pretty. The inside is incredible. Oh my goodness, these grungy autumnal vibes. It is everything to me. This is everything I'm craving right now. This is just perfection in a palette. This is gonna become a favorite of mine. I can feel it now. It's just so, so good. I might even take this on my upcoming trip to Colorado with me just because I wanna play with this so many times. It looks so good. Um, but again, we have 21 shades. We have 14 shimmers, seven mattes. Everything again is just so buttery and smooth. And these shimmers are unreal. Like I thought the flower moons were unreal. And then I got this palette and I was like, oh, these are even better. They're just like so sparkly, so shifty. Like it's just like, they're both just as good as each other, but this one just has something so special about it that is making my heart like skip a beat for sure. I love the grungy tones of these mattes. I just think this is so, so, so cool. I will say too, like the size difference of these, like they're the same amount of shades and stuff, but the Harvest Moon's a little bit bigger. So I don't know if that matters, but I just wanted to point that out as well. But those are the two palettes I hope those swatches were good and helpful and all the things. Uh, let's move into the looks now and I will give you my overall thoughts on the palettes at the end. Hello, good morning. Look number one. I do have my windows open right now because it is glorious outside. As of right now, at least it's not gonna last long so I'm enjoying it while I can. So if you hear things like sprinklers or birds chirping, just just enjoy it. Enjoy the ambiance like I am. But we're gonna get into look number one before I do though uh, my accessory details. This is just an old choker, I don't know where it's from. And then these plugs are Love Kills Boutique. So look number one, we're gonna start with the Flower Moon palette and then look number two will be with the new Harvest Moon. I'm really excited because I haven't used this before either. This will be my first time trying this brand ever. Um, I don't really know what I wanna do. Like I think I do actually. I think I wanna do kind of a Reverse smoky eye, focused on the greens with a little splash of pink. That's kind of what I'm feeling. By the way, I use the shade Sapling right here. I use that as my face highlight and I think it's so cute. So yeah, let's move on to look number one. I'm gonna prime with my Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Eye Primer. Hope you're doing well, by the way. I'm actually filming both of these looks on the same day today. I leave on a trip in like a week and a couple days. I think it's like eight days away. So trying to get ahead pre-film a little bit and I figured since I'm off work in the salon today, I can bust out two looks for this video and get it done faster. So I'm excited to do this look and then dive into the Harvest Moon. Although I'm kind of bummed that I won't be able to like wear this particular look long-term because I think it's gonna turn out really good. But alas, such is the life of a YouTuber. So for the first mattes, I'm gonna be starting with Meadow and it's gonna blend into Lush. So I'm gonna use my Singe Beauty Easier 2 first with Meadow. 
that first darker green and this is going to start right in the inner part of my lid. I haven't done a rubber smoky eye in a hot minute. I love doing these. I think it's so pretty and eye catching. I always get so many compliments in real life when I wear this. It's just such a cool look and just such a, a cool placement variation. I think it's so fun. It's basically like instead of a traditional smoky eye where like the dark is focused out here and then it gradiates lighter, it's the opposite. So we're gonna start darker in the front and let it fade lighter as we get further away. Ooh, that's a really good shade of green actually. So then I'm gonna grab this other singe brush, the easier three, it's a little bit bigger and fluffier. I'm gonna grab Lush and I'm just gonna kind of start kind of right on top of what I just did and start kind of fading it outwards. Just kind of building that gradient and getting a nice flow from dark to light. And I'll kind of just re-dip in as necessary and just kind of rebuilding that up and slowly blending outwards, getting it to where there's barely anything out here. I want that to be very empty, but just kind of getting that built up so that it's getting lighter towards the middle. I think that's quite nice actually. And then once I lay my shimmers down, it's really gonna come together. It's really cute. I love these particular shades of green. I'm gonna do the same thing with the lower, just kind of starting in the front and letting it blend outward. I am also gonna drag this down a little bit, kind of like in my eye bag zone. Just kind of blend that out a little bit. Get that nice and buffed. Kind of sort of something like that. It's so good. I love those shades. So now before I move on to the shimmers, I did want a little like pop of pink. So I'm going to take Mayflowers right here. I'm just going to use this Game Beauty brush, the E06. I'm just going to grab some of that. And normally like my mattes would stop here with a reverse smoky eye and then I would just do shimmers also doing a gradient from dark to light. But I just wanted a little pop of something different. So I'm just going to kind of spread this pink kind of in this outer corner. I'm just gonna build it up slowly and just really drag it in this outer corner. I want it to just be a nice like little heavy blown out pop of pink. <sighs> I just, I live for like a heavy like outer corner, especially when it's like a pinky tone. I just think it's so cute and fairy-like. I just adore it. Oh, I think that just added something so special to this look. I think that's so cute. Just like a little glow almost. I actually have another idea. Let me catch the other eye up and then we'll do that. So I always put blush on my nose. It's just like, it's always there. Um, usually I kind of trace it around the bridge of my nose, but I kind of want to grab just a little bit of Mayflower on my blush brush also. And I want to pop some of this kind of like heavily on the tip of my nose to kind of complement that outer corner. I know that this like triggers some people blush on the nose. If it bothers you, honestly, just get over it. <laughs> it's not that deep. It's just colorful powder. But I feel like this already gives such a fairy-like kind of look. So I feel like this just adds to that etherealness. That is so cute. You can't tell me that's not adorable. I'm gonna be so sad not wearing this look for the rest of the day. Not that I was doing anything anyways, I'm only working. But are you kidding me? That's so cute, especially with that highlight. I love it. And again, if you hate it, just don't do that step. It's not a big deal. But I just think that complements that outer corner so cute. And we're just here to have fun. Oh, I love, okay. Moving on to shimmer, I'm gonna take my Bella Beauty Bar Shimmer Stay. I'm just gonna kind of tap, tap, tap a little of this on the lid, focused in the front, fading outward. I'm just gonna use my finger to tap it out as well, cause I'll be using my finger for the shimmers anyway. This is just gonna help the shimmers pop really nicely and also stay exactly where I put them. For the shimmers, I wanna use Bliss Faded into Primrose. So starting with Bliss, I'm just grabbing a little bit of it. Ooh, it's so shiny and pigmented. I'm just gonna do a little, little dibble dabble of it right there in that front part of the eye. Kind of tucking in that inner corner part. Oh, that is so pretty. Today is feeling so fun. This just feels like a play date with Ensley Rain. I'm so grateful they sent me some stuff. This is a blast. I'm just gonna take my brush I used with the darkest green, no additional product just to lightly blend at that edge, just to make sure it all flows nicely. Now, dipping into Primrose, oh, that's so bright. I'm gonna do kind of the same thing. I'm not gonna take it all the way out, especially because I might do more pink. Um, so I'm just focusing this on like the front part of the middle because it will spread when I blend it anyway. Kind of like that. 
And then I'm gonna take my brush that I used with the lighter green, again, no additional product, and I'm just kind of sweeping this over everything and then letting it kind of buff outwards. Again, just kind of getting that gradient forming. These shimmers are really, really pretty. So far, I'm very impressed with this brand. Everything's been working really nice. So now I do wanna add a little more pink. I can't help myself. I wanna take Pink Moon and take that and just kind of lightly tippy tap that in this outer area. I'm gonna use my brush to blend it out in a second. Oh, that's so good. So I'm just gonna take that Game Beauty brush again and just kind of swirl this everywhere. Just get that pink kind of diffused. I wanna make sure that pink and green shimmer kind of flow together nicely. Ooh, I like this. I literally feel like a fairy. This is so cute. Pretty sure this palette came out in the spring, but I still feel like this is a very like, almost autumnal palette because these tones are just so like, dusty in the best way. I love, I love this so much. This is so cute. Okay, for the inner corner, you know, I guess I'll just use Sapling. The one I used as my face highlight. I guess that'll kind of tie everything together. So I'm just gonna pop that there. That's adorable. I'm so happy right now. <laughs> I said that in the most like flat way possible, but I'm screaming on the inside. This is so pretty. This is gonna be hard to beat. <laughs> I already love this look so much. So I'm going to finish this up. I'm going to throw on my lashes and eye pencil, something on my lips, and I'll be back when I'm complete. All right, here is look number one with the Flower Moon Palette. I feel so cute right now. I just feel like a fairy. I love the way these greens and pinks play together. I think this is such a fun look. I'm very impressed with the quality so far. I'm really looking forward to playing with the Harvest Moon palette, but so far this is gorgeous. I definitely want to play with this again over on like um, Instagram and YouTube shorts, so stay tuned for that. I'll get to that as soon as I can, um, but so far so good. I'm very, very impressed. So yeah, these lashes are the Vivid Half Lashes from Bright Lashes. The eye pencil I went with is Get Lucid from ColourPop. I just kind of wanted to play with that pinky tone a little bit more. And then on my lips, I went with the Pink Slip Pencil from Lawless with the new Mod Lip Cream from Sigma over top. So yeah, I really hope you like this look as much as I do. Let's move on now to look number two. All right, outfit change, look number two. Um, these plugs are also Love Kills Boutique, and this is just the same choker. I don't know where it's from. Um, I was so sad to wipe off look number one, but I'm really excited to dive into look number two because the palette's here, and my goodness, is it gorgeous. These shimmers are just absolutely unreal. I like can't wait to slather these all over my eyes. I think I want to do something kind of greenish, orangey-ish to kind of go with my shirt. Um, there are so many possibilities with this. This Witchful Thinking shade is so cool. I'm definitely gonna do a look with this probably on Instagram and YouTube shorts at some point because it's just so sparkly and amazing, but it's not what I want for this look in particular. I have a vision, so let's dive in. All right, let's get to priming Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. Again, just gonna smear this on and blend it out. I'm gonna do some furniture shopping this afternoon too because we're trying to redo our loft a little bit and make it like just a totally different vibe. So I might do that later. I'm just in a very productive mood today. So going in with Hibernate first. A really, really good shade of green. I'm just gonna use pretty much the same brush as I used in look number one. I just wiped them off. Um, but this is the Singe E02. And I'm gonna focus this in the outer corner. I think my cat <laughs> is behind me on the background. Feyre! You know what? You can stay for now. You can stay for now, it's fine. Kind of building this up in the outer corner. I don't really want it to go past like the front little section of my, or like this back third of my eye, I should say. I'm gonna smear this on that lower lash as well. I want a very smoky look, but I do want the shimmers to kind of be the star of the show with this look. Not that they weren't with look number one. <laughs> But you know, so now I'm actually gonna use this brown shade Cozy. Um, I like the tone of it. I'm gonna use that to blend out a little bit. I'm gonna use my Singe E03, and I'm actually gonna start with the bottom and just kind of get this a little bit more blendy and smoky. I'll bring this one all the way to the front. I just didn't want the green all by itself to be out there. Ooh, that's kind of nice, very cozy. I think this shade is called Cozy because it's it's doing cozy things. If, it, if an eyeshadow can be cozy, that's what's happening right now. And while I'm here, I'm also gonna take Hayride, that lightest kind of khaki brown. I'm gonna use that same Game Beauty uh, E06. And again, just starting with the bottom, 
working my way around, just kind of blending and buffing that out even more. Oh, it's pretty. And this green like matches my sweater perfectly. <laughs> Might even grab the brush that I used with the green, no additional product, just to make sure it's nice and stretched out. Oh, that's so good. I'm really liking this already. It's just a very like kind of grungy, smoky green situation. But we're gonna move on to the shimmers now. So taking my Bella Beauty Bar Shimmer Stay again, I'm gonna tippy tap this across the lid. Oh, you have no idea how much I'm itching to throw these shimmers on my lid. I'm so excited. This is just really gonna pull everything together and just give it such a good pop. So starting with Sparkling Cider, this shade is really, really cool. There are like so many twinkles in here and it shifts so pretty. And I think this will be beautiful, just kind of tucked right here next to that matte green. Oh yeah. I like that it has a slight purpley shift to it. Mm, it's so cool. I really, I like that so much. This is really, really pretty. I'm gonna take my brush I used with that darkest green, no additional product, just to make sure that is flowing from matte to shimmer nicely. Ugh. Up close, these shimmers are just insane. Let me like turn my flash on. Oh yeah, look how sparkly. Ooh, it's so pretty. I don't think I shared what my face highlight is either, by the way. I use this shade here, Foliage, as my face highlight, and I think it's quite cute. It's kind of like a peachy orange. It's really pretty. I wanna take this bougie shade right there. I like that it's like bougie, like boo. It's so pretty. I wanted to bring some warmth into this look. Oh yeah, that is so good. This is just gonna be like an autumnal grungy dream with so much sparkle. Oh, it's so exciting. It's flowing really well with Sparkling Cider. I'm gonna grab a little bit more of that shade and just kind of tippy tap both fingers on that seam until I like the way they flow together. Ooh, look at that. It's really cool. It goes from like orange, purple, green, like quintessential autumn. I'm just gonna take one of those blending brushes from before, just kind of tuck that in there. Oh, so pretty. And then the, the final addition is I have to use Tombstone in the inner corner. It's gonna be such a cool pop of color. Um, I'm gonna use my Singe Beauty E01. I just, I think this is just gonna add something so cool. Oh my goodness. I love that already so much. Such a different vibe between look number one and two. I feel like look number one was like garden fairy and this one's like autumnal, like forest swamp witch. <laughs> Just gonna make sure that is nice and blended. I really like that pop of color right there, especially against my eye color. That's really, really cool. I feel like it's making my eyes look very green because my eyes are kind of on the cusp between blue and green. I feel like this is making them look super green right now. Maybe I could possibly also add some flannel on that lower lash line because, you know, I just wanna keep adding to the mix. Just gonna use this little Game Beauty pencil brush. I'm just gonna tippy tap that. I want it to kind of fade between the inner corner and just kind of smear along that lower lash line fading out. Oh my goodness, I'm obsessed. I just love a sparkly lower lash line. Just gives it such an ethereal look. See, I'll just never understand why brands feel the need to do pressed glitters when you could do just like a really chunky sparkly shimmer like this and get a really similar effect without using like actual glitter. Do you think I'm gonna grab foliage that I used as my face highlight? And I'm gonna pop some of that on my brow bone. This is a really cool look, very autumnal. Feel the need to like hold my flashlight up again just so you can capture the sparkle. Do you see that middle shade? There's like, it's almost like a holographic shimmer. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, well, I'm very satisfied with this. I'm going to finish this up, throw on my lashes and eye pencil, something on my lips, and I'll be back when I'm complete. Here is how the final look turned out. I really, really love this. It's just such a grungy autumnal dream. I just live for that pop of color in the inner corner. I think it's so pretty. These are the same vivid lashes from Bright Lashes. My eye pencil is Black Flame Candle, just playing off that green from ColourPop. And on my lips, I went with the Teddy Bear Liquid Lip from Menagerie. I just wanted something still kind of grungy and autumnal and brown toned. I didn't really want to do a straight up orange. Uh, so I felt like this went with the vibe, but didn't take away from anything. So this is the look. I hope you like it. Let's uh, zoom out and I'll give you my thoughts so far on these palettes. Thank you so much for watching my video. I had a lot of fun playing with these palettes today. I am just so happy with this look. I love look number one. I would love to know which of those two looks was your favorite. It's honestly like 
so hard to pick. They're just such opposite energies, like competing against each other. And I love them both so much. The flower moon is so pretty. It's just such a grungy fairy garden. I, I just love it. It's so ethereal and beautiful. I really like these purples. Definitely want to give those some love next time I play with this palette. I think these mattes are all really, really pretty. I love these like swampy, colorful shades. It's just, oh, it's so cute. I, I'm really excited about this brand. And then the Harvest Moon. Out of the two, I think this one has my heart, but it's just partially because I, I'm a sucker for anything autumnal. I love the spooky vibes. I love the spooky season. These are the colors that I want the most right now. So definitely have bias since we're in this season, but I think I'm leaning towards this one. Both palettes have amazing quality. The mattes were so blendable and easy to work with and the shimmers are just so special. There's just a couple shades in this one as far as the shimmers go that just have like multi-dimensional tiny flecks of sparkle in them that make this one stand out even more to me. I think this is such a killer palette. These are such cool shades and I'm really looking forward to playing with these some more. Um, like I mentioned in the beginning, I really might take this on my upcoming trip to Colorado um, just because I think I'd really enjoy being able to dip into this palette more. So we'll see. I'm not even close to packing yet. That's a week away. So I'll decide then. <laughs> I'm sure I'll vlog it and share what I'm packing on that trip. But yeah, so far I'm very impressed. I think this was a really fun kind of play date with Ensley Rain. Um, thank you, Ensley Rain, for sending me over these palettes. I'm excited to play with these multi-chromes that you sent over as well in an upcoming get ready with me. They're super, super pretty. Um, but in the meantime, I would love to hear your thoughts. What are you thinking about these palettes? Have you tried this brand before? Do you plan on picking up the Harvest Moon today? Again, it launches today, the day this gets uploaded on September 29th at 9.30 a.m. PST. Um, I would just love to hear your thoughts overall. Do you love it? Do you hate it? I wanna know. If you made it to the end of this video, you know, depending on which of these palettes you prefer, leave emojis that represent the energies. Are you feeling more the flower moon or the harvest moon? Let me know down below. If you made it to the end of this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel out a lot. And if you're not already, you can also go follow me over on Instagram. I am Batty Bean over there. And if you want, you can subscribe if you haven't already. I'm normally posting most days over here, but I'm gonna be posting every single day in October, so stay tuned for that. Also, feel free to join my channel memberships. The link to sign up will be down below. You'll get fun little perks, including a members only get ready with me once a month. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Okay, bye. Felix, did you wanna leave? Come here, you gotta at least pay the cat tax first. Felix, if you're gonna sneak in here, you gotta pay the cat tax. Look at this big pumpkin. He's the pumpkiniest pumpkin. Look at his little feet and his little bow tie. Look how handsome you are. The biggest pumpkin in all of Pumpkin Town. Okay, I'll let you leave now. Go on. Have fun. Hi, Feyre. Did you want to hang out in here? Do you also want to come pay the cat tax? Come on, Feyre. Everybody loves the baby. Look at this little cutie. This speckled little monster. She's the scariest monster in all of the land.